The Prophet, peace be upon him, taught us how to urinate and defecate, teaching us to sit down in a squatting posture. Many people today remain unaware that sitting toilets pose a danger to their health and well-being. Today, a growing number of medical experts say humans are designed to squat to eliminate. It all comes down to positioning. Squatting releases pressure on the rectum and makes it easier to defecate. Sitting in a Western-style toilet means you're pushing against your own muscles. Many doctors say that squat toilets reduce the chances of constipation, hemorrhoids, and even bowel cancer. Research shows that a bathroom posture plays a bigger role in these ailments than a lack of dietary fiber. Stanford University has revealed a new study that shows squatting is the proper and recommended way to go to the bathroom. So, what is the big difference between the two positions? Sitting on the modern style western sit-down toilet is designed to place your knees at a 90 degree angle to your abdomen. Sitting on a squatting toilet, your body is placed at a 35 degree angle. Neuroscientists say when a person squats, his or her thighs are pressed against the lower abdomen. The action of these thighs supports the colon and causes the pressure inside the abdominal cavity to increase. The resulting natural pressurization of the colon facilitates waste evacuation. In the squatting position, the pelvis is also suspended like a cradle, and the buttock opens up to expose the anus. Squatting does what sitting cannot do. It releases the kink in the anal canal. This straightens the final pathway between the rectum and the anus, making it easy for the waist to pass out easily and completely. However, in the sitting position, the kink, the bend between the rectum and the anal canal is not released. The abdominal and colon is also deprived of any support from the thighs. As a result, a person using the seated posture for defecation is forced to hold the breath and strain and push downwards for waste evacuation. Yet, evacuation can never be complete, resulting in a accumulation and hardening of residual wastes in the lower regions of the colon. All this opening of the buttocks, straightening of the anal canal, beneficial increase in the abdomen and hence compression of the colon can only take place in the squatting position. The result is easier, faster and more complete bowel movements. When standing the puborectalis muscle fully chokes the rectum. When sitting it partially chokes the rectum. When squatting the puborectalis muscle is fully relaxed. Sitting causes straining that is not healthy. When using modern toilets, it can cause constipation. The National Institute for Health estimates that more than 4 million Americans have constipation, defined as having a bowel movement less than three times per week. Constipation is not only uncomfortable, but has a long-term damaging effect on the colon. One of the processes that happens in the colon is the extraction of water. The colon is constantly extracting water from its contents, transforming the liquid waste to solid. As a result, if elimination is not regular and complete, too much water is extracting, causing the waste to become too dry and then cemented to the walls of the colon. If stools sit inside the colon too long without being eliminated, the toxins contained within these may be circulated back into the blood. Furthermore, stools that are held up from being eliminated may generate even more toxins. Hemorrhoids. The Mayo Clinic suggests that hemorrhoids sufferers avoid long periods of standing or sitting. Sitting too long, particularly in the toilet, can increase the pressure of the veins in the anus. According to the Mayo Clinic, by the age of 50, about half of American adults have experienced hemorrhoid symptoms. Hemorrhoids, also called piles, are swollen and inflamed veins in your anus and lower rectum. Hemorrhoids may result from straining during bowel movement or from the increased pressure of these veins during pregnancy, among other causes. Colon disease. Colon cancer or colorectal cancer is a major killer disease. It is prevalent in the West but rare in the developing countries, as reported in Science News Online. Each year, about 150,000 people are diagnosed with colon cancer in the United States alone. Although the disease is the fourth leading cause of cancer-related mortality worldwide, few people living in developing nations contract the illness. Many Western researchers have been trying to find an explanation for this phenomenon. They miss the important connection between the toilet posture and colon cancer. People in the developing world squat for waste elimination people in the West sit. Eliminating completely often helps maintain good colon health. Many studies point to fecal buildup in the colon as a cause of diseases, including colon cancer. Urinary difficulty and infections. Urinary flow is usually stronger and easier when women squat to urinate. The bladder is emptied more completely when squatting rather than sitting or hovering. Squatting can help reduce episodes of urinary tract infections in both frequency and intensity. Pelvic floor issues. One third of women in the United States have one or more pelvic floor disorders. One of the main causes of this condition is straining in the toilet. A sitting position causes a great amount of pressure on the anorectal angle of the colon. Pelvic floor nerves can be protected by squatting for bowel elimination. Men can also suffer from pelvic floor disorders. The appendix. In the squatting position, the right thigh presses against the right lower abdomen, squeezes the sacrum from the base. This squeezing action pushes waste from the sacrum away from the appendix and the ileocecal valve and up to the ascending colon. 
The channel opening of the appendix stays clean. The ileocecal valve stays securely closed. In the sitting position, the sacrum is not squeezed empty by the right thigh. Also, the colon is not prepared properly for evacuation. As a result, there is a need to strain and push downwards with the diaphragm while holding one's breath. This action inflates and pressurizes the sacrum in the wrong direction, downwards, against the appendix and the ileocecal valve. It is like squeezing a tube of toothpaste in the middle, causing the bottom of the tube, the sacrum, to inflate. This back pressure can force waste into the appendix with disastrous consequences. Advantages of squatting. Advantages of squatting makes elimination faster, easier and more complete. This helps prevent fecal stagnation, a prime factor in colon cancer, appendicitis and inflammatory bowel diseases. Protects the nerves that controls the prostate, bladder and uterus from becoming stretched and damaged. Securely seals the ileocecal valve between the colon and the small intestine. In the conventional sitting position, this valve is unsupported and often leaks during evacuation, contaminating the small intestine. Relax the puborectalis muscle, which normally chokes the rectum, in order to maintain continence. Uses the thigh to support the colon and prevent straining. Chronic straining on the toilet can cause hernias, diverticulosis and pelvic organ prolapses. A highly effective non-invasive treatment for hemorrhoids as shown by published clinical research. For pregnant women, squatting avoids pressures on the uterus when using the toilet. Daily squatting helps prepare one for more natural delivery. Not only will squatting improve your balance, it would also give your spine a beneficial stretch. A very simple solution is to use a small footstool while you sat on a western sitting toilet. This will put your body in the correct posture by elevating your knees to a 35 degree angle.